Today we will begin a lesson on clipping mass. You first begin by deciding on the goal of your project. Is the project for a business, such as a professional website, or maybe it's for fun, like you're going to make a graphic from a recent vacation. So as an example, I'm going to use a picture from Hawaii that I have saved on my computer. So go ahead and open up any graphic that you would like to use. Here's my graphic. Secondly, you need a new document and we are going to clip the graphic into a font in the new document. So we're going to open up also a new document. So file new. And this one I'm going to make landscape. So the width is 11 inches and the height is eight and a half. So now I have both documents open. Next, you need to find a font that is bold because you're going to fill the letters with the image and type the word that you would like to use. This can be changed later or until you rasterize the layer and make your text into an image. Fill the page with the font. So the larger the letters, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Hawaii and move my text to the middle of the screen, make it easier for you to see. So now I have the image open and I'm going to go ahead and float the image so it's easy for me to access it. And I'm going to go ahead and use the select tool, the black arrow on the top, to drag your image onto the standard document. There we go. So now when I'm looking at the layers palette, you want to make sure that your image layer is on top of your word layer. And I'm going to go ahead and make this image larger so it fits over my entire word. There we go. Now we get to the clipping mask. You right click on the image layer and there is a command called create clipping mask. This can also be found under the layer menu located on the top of the page, layer and then clipping mask. So I'm going to go ahead and create the clipping mask. As you can see it filled the font and you can move the image to get it where you would like it. I'm going to go ahead and move it around. I like it like that. Lastly, you can right click on the font layer and you can add some layer properties. You can also go to layer layer properties to add these properties. So I'm going to go ahead to layer properties and I am going to add so layer layer properties. Here we go, and I'm going to add a drop shadow, and then also bevel and emboss. And this will help pop the letters right off the page. And there you go, that is how you create a clipping mask in Photoshop.